it looked like the camera picked up saying something like you couldn't move your arm and just wondered how it felt originally how concerned you were and then what you did at halftime to kind of get it sorted out for the second half yeah uh jaron jackson just kind of came down on my shoulder i didn't see the play so <clears throat> uh, i'm not sure if he came down or just hit it whatever but hit a little stinger where my arm went completely numb uh it was weak i couldn't like lift it up or you know hold it up myself um, <clears throat> couldn't move it and just uh, you know went to the back early we had maybe a couple seconds or a minute or so uh, went to the back and just did some strength things trying to get, get uh, feeling back and uh, I was good to go a pretty dominant defensive performance for you the, not just the blocks and the steals but just taking away a lot in the middle where John wanted to get how, how did that line up with the, what the game plan was and what did what did you feel like ended up playing out for you on the court yeah um, obviously you know Jaws the head of snake um, you know his pick and roll game is elite you know he got the floaters uh, you know his launch pad you know he jumps very high um, gets downhill uh, so I just want to take you know all that away, being up a little bit more, and just kind of uh, make him see a crowd. You know, you gotta um, treat him as such. Uh, you know, because he, you know, blow by guys, and uh, he's very shifty. You know, six feet, so he uh, very slithery, and you just want to, you know, draw a crowd. <coughs> excuse me, show a crowd and. Make him, you know, find other guys or shoot, you know, a tough shot. You know, obviously he's good enough uh, where he's going to make some, but uh, just make it tough for him all game. Austin said that uh, you and LeBron kind of set the tone for how you guys approached game one when you addressed the team on Thursday. Uh, how much can you yeah. share with us of what your we message was? You spoke to the team on Thursday, yeah. I guess, film session or whatever you guys got together was. Um, how much of your message can you share with us? Like, what was you? What did you want your younger teammates to know about the playoffs heading into this game? No, I mean, we just kind of told them that uh, playoffs are different. Um, you know, for us, we've been in playoff mode for two months, you know, battling, but uh, it's, it's different, you know, <clears throat> physicality increases as, as we saw tonight, uh, today. Um, mental aspect um, is a lot different, you know, uh, valuing possessions, you know, uh, just things that, you know, we learned throughout our course of our career of being in the playoffs. And um, a lot of these guys have, uh, have not been there. So we just want to, you know, kind of harp on, you know, what it takes to kind of um, be in the playoffs and what it takes to win games in the playoffs, especially a road game, um, you know. And that's, that's all it was about. Like, obviously, you know, game one is always a uh, fill-out game, just kind of see what teams are doing, um, both sides are doing. You know, they see what we're doing, we see what they're doing. And, uh, you know, just go out and just play hard and have fun, and we'll make adjustments accordingly. But, uh, you know, that's kind of all we kind of told them. AD, uh, Ruby had 29, Austin had 23, including nine straight uh, at that one point in the fourth. Um, how, how important were their offensive contribu uh, contributions tonight? And then just you know, moving forward, what you, know, you guys need from your supporting cast, like th those types of nights? Yeah. Uh, like I said, we got a lot of guys who can score the basketball. Um, you know, I think Ruby hit five threes tonight. Uh, you know, Austin being Austin, um, just instilling confidence in these guys. You know, we work on it in practice. You know, where the shots are going to come from. And, uh, you know, really took advantage. You know, we worked on those shots all yesterday, days before. Um, Austin, just obviously being himself, he, he's been playing at an elite level um, over the past, you know, month and a half or so. And, um, you know, they're there. Contribution tonight and their performance tonight, today, uh, helped us get a victory. So uh, we're going to continue to need, you know, those guys. I think playoffs is all about. Um, obviously, the you know, guys are keying in on the on the stars. You know, me, Bron, trying to figure out how they can take us out the game. Uh, but you win games, playoff games with your role players, and uh, that's exactly what happened tonight. Austin and, and really stepped up big. Hey, AD, along those lines, I mean. <clears throat> I think if we sit down here in most fourth quarters and look, see, LeBron only took one shot in the fourth until those dunks late. I think you only, you only had had one shot at a time. Like most nights, that would be a bad sign mm -hmm. for this team. Um, what does that say about your your trust level in this group and LeBron's trust level in this group, despite it being, you know, really only a few months? Yeah. Um, 
like I said, guys make the right plays, and it's our job as you know the guys who's getting all attention to continue to make the right play and trust our guys. Um, and you know, obviously. It, it happened quickly for us. It had to happen quickly for us because of the circumstance that we we're we we're in. Um, but I mean, it means a lot to those guys too. When you come in and you know, like the shot Dennis made, you know, against Minnesota, um, Bron could have, you know, that's his shot going left. Could have shot the fade away, and but he kicks it to Dennis and he makes it three. So, you know, it gives those guys confidence um, that we trust them and we do trust them uh, to make the the right play. So. Um, when well, you got a lot of guys who who's in it for each other um, and want to win, everybody's on the same page. It doesn't matter who who scores, um, as long as we score the basketball and continue to make the right plays. Follow that. Does that make it easier than you know if it's if it's crunch time, you know whether it's game two or game, th- and and you have to take over, yeah, knowing uh, that they've like kind of built this. Absolutely, and it also you know not only that, but it also um, puts the other team. You know, notice that you have to guard these guys. You know, they make shots, they make plays. Okay, now it's tougher to double because now you making got guys who, if we double, they're going to make shots and make the right play. So, um, like I say, game ones is always kind of a fill out game and see what's going on. And um, we made a lot of the right plays tonight. You know, both ends of the floor. So, you know, we're going to continue to trust these guys. And like I say, I think championships are won and games are won. You know, when the role players play well. Uh, Anthony, uh, Rui was just in here saying that you and Austin were kind of giving him a hard time about his weak dunk package. Uh, he thought he had a pretty good one today. What would you think? Uh, he had a great one. Uh, um, you know, we always mess with Rui, man. He has his clip saved on his phone of uh, him dunking on me when he was in Washington. And he shows Austin all the time. And uh, he, actually, the officer probably elbowed me in the face. They didn't call it, though. But, um, <laughs> you know, we gave him a hard time about it, like, you know, your dunk package is not elite. You know, you just do regular dunks. And he told us yesterday, he said, I'm going to, he said, watch, I'm going to dunk on somebody this series. And it happened game one, you know. So um, on a guy who is a candidate for defensive player of the year. So um, it's, uh, it was cool to watch. Hey, AD, with three minutes to go, three minutes and 11 seconds, you guys are up one, <coughs> one thirteen, one twelve. You guys close on a 15 nothing run. What was that like on the court, especially with some teammates that didn't have much playoff experience going through that run? Like I say, uh, we were very well connected um, on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, we hold our hats on, hang our hats on the defensive end, and you know, when it's crunch time, um, you know, we do a lot of communicating. We in the huddle um, on the court. You know, and, and talking about things, and uh, we just want to make life hard for for those guys, make them take tough shots, um, and rebound the basketball. Uh, and that's what we did. You know, you know, intensity is going to pick up, obviously, and uh, physicality is going to pick up, obviously. You know, with it being the playoffs, and um, you know, when it's crunch time, those are some times where you need to get stops and get buckets, um, and we're able to do both. Not a lot of rebounds off of his shot tonight. Rui Hachimura, 5 for 6 from long range. 11 for 14 from the field. 29 points. That's 5 more than the Memphis Grizzlies' entire bench. Podium game for Rui Hachimura, who hit a new career high, 5 three-pointers. I've been able to have this kind of an impact in your first playoff game for the Lakers. You know, um, I've been watching film with the Phil, you know. Coach Phil, he's, uh, he always told me uh, those are going to be the practice shot for me, you know. Cause the the way that how they guard, guard me is gonna be like you know they're gonna they're gonna um, they're gonna be in the paint paint so you know I gotta be ready to shoot those kind of shot type of shot and then just the first half I just didn't get as much you know I didn't get my, uh, as much ball so that's why you know um, I couldn't really you know uh, shoot that but like the second half you know we are in a good rhythm you know everybody was uh, sharing the ball and uh, yeah all those shots just came to me so I just uh, you know I was in the confidence to sh- shoot a shot. You tie for the, the most points in a Laker playoff game off the bench ever uh, with Michael Thompson, of course, doing the radio <laughs> now for the Lakers. Uh, what, did, what was just the feedback initially from your teammates on the court in the locker room for this kind of contribution? You know, um, it's funny, you know, just uh, they, uh, since I got here, you know, um, this team, you know, they really believe in me, you know, uh, my shots and uh, my defense side, like everything, you know, what I do. And, uh, 
Um, it's just, you know, the before a game and before a game, they, the coaches, you know, the, um, everybody, you know, the, including Phil and like Braun and AD, like they gave me all the green, sh uh, green lights, you know, to shoot all those shots, you know, because uh, um, they told me I'm a good shooter. And so like, I just was, I was even confident, you know, I was, uh, I was very comfortable in shooting those three. So, yeah. Rui, you, you had your shot going and then you have that dunk early in the fourth quarter. Is that even a play that you're attempting to, to make at the rim if you don't have the confidence of, of everything else flowing? Yeah, you know, I was a, I was a, I was making shots, you know, I knew, you know, um, Jaden Jackson, he's going to, he's going to try to block the shot, every shot. So, you know, I just pump fake and then I just went to the, you know, I went to the rim, you know, strong, you know, um, it, it was funny, like just like yesterday or two days ago, uh, the whole team, like me, like we got in like, not an argument, like in a conversation about, you know, my, my dunk, like my dunk package is kind of weak, so, you know. <laughs> And I was showing all the, you know, my highlights, you know, on the YouTube, and they're like, no, they don't like that. So I told them, I said, look, like this series, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one. So you know, just watch, and uh, it happened today. So you know, they, they just told me, I said, yeah, they got you, you know, I got one. So yeah, it's just the, uh, you know, the way they, with me, you know, talking, like you know, just uh, they told me to be more aggressive. You know, they want to be, they want me to be aggressive on the offense side, defense side, you know, both sides. So yeah, I just that's what I did today. Yeah. Hey, Rory, what was your reaction when you saw AD go into the locker room at halftime? And then what was your reaction when you found out he was coming back for the second half? Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. That was, a, that was tough. He, I remember he said he can't, he can't move the right arm or something. So I'm like, oh, oh, my God. It might be over. But, you know, uh, in the halftime, um, everybody talk about the next, next man up. You know, you gotta, we got to be ready. You know, it is what it is. And then I think uh, the second half we started and then, AD was just dunking, so I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, he was fine, yeah, you know. But, yeah, you know, it's uh, the playoff, you know, it's more physical. And, and you know, they're not going to call fouls, they're usually cold and stuff. So it's, uh, it's going to be, you know, especially though they're a young team, so, you know, they got to be physical, you know, to play against us. You know, that's the way, that's, that's how they can win, you know, if they can beat us, you know. So we just got to be more, we got to set the, you know, the tone, the same, you know, same energy, much the same energy, and then we just got to be more physical, yeah. Rui, uh, you mentioned that guys were kind of teasing you about your dunk package earlier this week. Who, who in particular? Uh, it was AD, Austin, um, yeah, those two especially for sure, yeah. They, they will talk about my dunks, you know, before, like literally, I, we've been literally talking about this whole week, last, this past week, so it was funny, yeah. Uh, you know, just since you came here, uh, you kind of mentioned about, you know, I know you've talked a lot about LeBron before, um, but, you know, him and AD telling you and stuff. And I guess how much the way you view yourself as a basketball player, how has that changed since you've come here? Oh, yeah, it's amazing. You know, um, I, 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 I'm able to walk out with him, you know, uh, especially LeBron. You know, I've been walking out with him, you know, the, in the practice, you know, the individual work. Uh, it's a, you know, nobody can do that, you know, <laughs> in this world. Just uh, uh, few few players can do the you know on the, end up on the same team and they, you know able to do like walk out with him go through the walkout with him you know and he 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 been teaching me a lot of stuff and then I can actually watch him you know like you know how how he been doing and the stuff and like you know his skill set and everything you know I can watch you know right next to him you know so and I can actually walk with him so that's the that's really helping me and uh, of course AD too you know. He's a great defender, and he has a good post-game, you know, uh, skill. So you know, I just watch him like all the time, you know, in the in the film, in the practice, in the game. You know, it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah. When coach tells you to be more aggressive, that's one thing to say that. Can you describe for you when you kind of start start to feel and gain your confidence, and and how that progressed in this second half? You know, it just it, it just since I got here, you know, that's that's how they've been. You know, they want to be to be aggressive. You know, it's just but. Uh, it's hard to get in the rhythm. It was hard to get in the rhythm because we had a couple trade and you know someone got injured and like you know somebody was out, like you know someone was in. I was starting. I was I'll come off the bench. Like, you know, it was it was hard for me to get in the rhythm. So you know, of course, I talked to the coaches. You know, um, they they talked to me about you know how they want me to be. You know, um, when I when I get on the court. You know, and then they 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 just told me I, they like you know who I how I play, you know, they just want to be aggressive. That's what I want thing. And to bring the energy, you know, those are, those are things like, you know, focus on. And then uh, today I think, uh, yeah, from both ends, you know, I think uh, um, came from, uh, from the beginning, you know, I think uh, I had a good energy and uh, throughout the whole game.
And lastly, a lot of people have said this is not your typical 2-7 seed. You guys won 10 of 12 going down the stretch. What's it mean for you guys to get this win and, and grab home court advantage in this series? Oh, yeah, we needed this one for sure. You know, the first game is very important, I feel like. You know, uh, this is my second time in the playoff. But, you know, those are... Uh, those every game, every position, you know, it's matter, you know, um, especially in the win away. So, you know, if we if we can win these games, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be much easier for me for us to win those games the next, you know, uh, when when we get back to LA. So, you know, we just gotta we gotta celebrate, of course, this win maybe tonight, but you know, tomorrow from tomorrow we gotta switch the you know gear and everything, and then we gotta focus on the second game. Rui, I think it's about 7 a.m. in Japan right now. Just wondered how much of your circle is still there and, you know, folks kind of waking up if they didn't wake <laughs> up to watch the game and seeing you had 29 and, you know, your first Laker playoff game. Yeah, they, yeah, they're probably, you know, they're hyper about it. You know, they watch it. A lot of people watch the games. Of course, my family watch the game, and uh, I still haven't seen that message in the stock. But, you know, um, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, you know. I want to I wanna show, you know, you know, what I can do, you know, for my country, you know, uh, that's my country, you know, I grew up there, you know, I was born there, you know, um, I missed there, you know, so it's just, uh, just a good way to like, you know, show, you know, how much I can do here. あのまあ、前回の試合の後にあのこういう大き,いな大きい試合っていうのは自分が一番活躍できる時っておっしゃってたんですけれども今日の試合を迎えるにあたってやっぱそういう自信というものが自分の中にありますなんか特別な,なんか気持ちっていうのはありましたかそうですね、まあ、言った通り僕はあのー、大きいゲームが好きなのでそういう時こそ僕の強みが本当に出てくるんじゃないでで出てくると思うのでそういうところはまあ意識して僕も昨日寝る夜寝る前にそういうふうに考えましたし、まあ、今日朝起きてからも今日やるぞっていう気持ちでできたのが良かったんじゃないかなと思いました。